Welcome! This is The Rude Man, and welcome to my PC. As you know, and if you've watched some of the latest episodes that I've made of Farming Simulator, I've had a little bit of trouble with mods, and my major issue with mods is that I have too many maps. I keep downloading maps, and each map has uh, particular mods that it wants to, to use. And a lot of these maps are using the same mods. And not only are they the same mods, they're the same mods that are named differently. And I started having some issues with the maps not working as intended. So to solve that problem, this is what I've done. And it's taken me some time, but uh, th this is how I am working this problem now. Uh, first of all, what it takes for me is, as you know, I have more than one computer. I have one computer that I use just for storage. So, and all my computers are networked. So I have access to any one of them from whatever computer I'm using. I have access to their files. It makes it easy for me. So that means if I have a file on another computer and I send something over to that computer, it doesn't move it, it copies it over. So I still have the original on the computer that I sent it from. Um, that's kind of important because that way I'm not losing something. If I delete it from this computer, I still have it on the other one. So first of all, let's take a look at what we have in your uh, farming simulator folder. If you go to uh, documents, my games, and then uh, Farming Simulator 2015, you'll find all the files that are in there. These are all your saved games. Um, there's a couple folders in here that you're going to see that you're not going to have. This common mod is one of them, and course play, of course, unless you have course play, probably won't be in here. Uh, if you do have course play, then you're probably going to see this file. It's the saved uh, courses. So, but anyway, uh, what you don't see is a folder called mods okay and I'll show you why you're not seeing that in my um, in my folder because I don't have any mods in here anymore what I've done is I have made a new folder that I keep on a separate computer now if you don't have two computers if you have more than one drive you can do the same thing just keep your backup on a second drive. But what I've done is I've created a folder on a separate drive or a separate computer, and I call it a Farming Simulator uh, 2015 Maps. Now, these are all the maps that I'm currently uh, messing with. Okay, so there's also a couple folders in here that are backups. Now, the, the main one is I have a folder called Common Mods. Now these are all the mods that I myself are interested in and have downloaded and I may or may not use them in any given map. Uh, for example, the Starship Enterprise, uh, Enterprise would be one of these mods. The Grasshopper would be one of these mods, okay? These are my mods that I can choose to put in a map or not put in a map. Then, th then what I've done is I've created a folder for each map that I'm playing. So I have one for say Manchester. Now the only thing I put in Manchester are uh, the map, the uh, mods that the map maker says are required for that map to work properly. Now there's where the rub starts because each map has a set of, um, well I'll give you an example. See this one right here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, ghoul mist mod I've seen this mod named several different things sometimes they'll name it the ghoul mist mod sometimes they'll name it ZZZ ghoul mist mod or Z ghoul mist mod okay so what I've done is I've taken Manchester and I've went through his description and I've downloaded uh, whatever mods he has said is required for his map and that's all that I put in this Manchester folder and then once I've done that, then I take the mods that I want to use and I put them in Manchester. 
Now, if I want to play Manchester, all I do is open up my Farming Simulator, my games folder, and let me make this a little bigger so we can see. Okay, so all I do is open up this folder and I take the map that I want to play, which in this case is going to be Manchester, and I copy it over there. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of time because this is coming from another complete computer that's on the network. Okay, once it's over there, then I rename it Mods because that's what Farming Simulator 2015 is going to look for. So now, all my mods are in there, including the map I want to play. Now when I start up the game and I select Manchester, uh, the only thing in that mod file are the mods that the, that the map maker has required and, and mods that you yourself want to play, like Grasshopper or, or Starship Enterprise or something like that. That's all you're going to have. You're not going to have three versions of the mist mod you're not going to have four versions of uh, chopped straw and it's a very clean it makes it a very clean game now the um, farming simulator already keeps a copy of my of my uh, saved game so now when I start my saved game um, if I've missed any mods like let's say I forgot to put in this list uh, that I've created of Manchester. Let's say I forgot to put the grasshopper in there. When I start my game, before it goes into the game, it's going to say, wait a minute, this game save requires a mod that you don't have. You can download that mod before you open if you choose to. I mean, it says something like that. So then you just say, oh, oh, I forgot to put, you know, grasshopper in there. So stop your game, get out of it, go to your mod list, bring it over, and put it in Manchester, and you're set to go. It may seem a little complicated, but if you get used to do this and you're careful about it by keeping your backup separate, um, in my case, I've got a much cleaner game now because I don't have to worry when I switch from Manchester to Nebraska or or you know any other cold borough or whatever other map I'm playing, that game is only going to have the mods that the map maker has required and I'm not going to have any interference from other mods that are causing problems. Now if you do still have a problem with a, uh, a game that you're trying to play it could be that one of your other mods such as the grasshopper mod or some other mod that you are trying to play is interfering with another mod and so you can just kind of play with that the other thing is, if you're somebody like me that has like 100 mods, think about it. When I'm playing Manchester, I'm not playing every single mod that I own. Um, you know, there's a lot of mods I have in my mod list that I don't play on Manchester. Um, I'll, I'll give you another example. I've got a couple of John Deere combines. I've never played them on Manchester. So why do I have them in my mod list? It just it means a lot of clutter. At any rate, I'm kind of rambling now. Um, that's my system. And the only other thing that I'll add is, if you notice, I do keep in the Farming Simulator folder, I keep a, the common mods. I also have a copy of that on another uh, disk. And so I'm keeping the mods that I choose. Like if somebody suggests, hey, Rudy, take a look at this new uh, cedar that's uh, over on, um, you know, some mod hoster. Uh, I can take that and put it in the common mod uh, folder and not put it in the mods folder that is going to actually go into the game until I choose to put it in there. And if I grab that one, and I put it in the mod folder, uh, and it causes havoc with my game, I know exactly which mod it is. 
because I didn't have any trouble with it when I loaded the game the last time. I've got trouble with it now because I added that mod. I can take it right back out and do whatever I want with it. So the only thing I would say is that if you are playing, if I'm playing Manchester and I want to try a new cedar on Manchester, I would take the mod, I would put it in this folder, my common mods folder, so that I've got a copy of it and I would then copy it from here over to the Manchester folder so that I still have it in case I want to use it on another map. But anyway, for me, it's a little complicated, I know, but for, for me, it's really cleaned up my mod list and I don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, the maps not working correctly. Uh, believe it or not, I've already had some issues where, since I've done the not issues, I've already had some things that have been cleaned up by doing this. Um, there's been a couple of maps that I've been playing for quite a while. And as soon as I cleaned them up by doing this, uh, there's things in them that I didn't know was supposed to be in there. And they kind of work better than they were doing. I, 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 some things that I've wondered, well, why isn't it doing that? It, it was supposed to do that. Well, there was interference with some other mod and it wasn't working properly. But anyway, uh, I hope this helps you. I don't know if it's anything you're going to want to do. It may be a little complicated, I know. But for me, because I've got so many mods and so many maps I want to try, uh, it's going to work a lot better. So if I go to Mod Hoster and download a brand new map that I want to try, my mod list is going to be completely empty. And the only thing that's going to go in it is, is that map and the mods that the mod maker is requiring for it to work properly. And I don't have to worry about um, you know, it not working properly. So there it is. But that's, that's what I've done to kind of clean up my game. And I hope if it's something that, um, that you have problems with, it'll help you. There's something for you to, to think about. And I'll see you on the farm in my next episode.